it wasn't until earlier this year that I watched It's a Wonderful Life for the first time. And I watched it because I finally thought, I'm going to relent. I'm going to watch it and see what all of this fuss is about. Never did I think it would live up to the hype, but it turns out it definitely does. So the film was released in 1946. It's a little over two hours long, which is definitely quite a lengthy film for the time. And it's directed by Frank Capra and written by Francis Goodrich and Albert Hackett. And I, I didn't actually know what this was about before I watched it. I knew it was a Christmas film. I knew it would be emotional, but I didn't actually know the plot. So I won't spoil the plot in any detail here, but I will tell you, it's amazing. The description of the plot is as follows. An angel is sent from heaven to help a desperately frustrated businessman by showing him what life would be like if he had never existed. So he's very down on his luck just now. He's feeling, you know, a little bit sorry for himself and contemplating life without himself. And this angel comes down to show him, you know, what his family would be up to, what his friends and associates would be like if he were not in their life. And obviously the point of this is to show that he does enrich their lives and he does make their world a better place. And it's a lovely film. And it's really, you know, it's really lovely to see... Well, I guess it's not lovely to see, really, when he, when the angel shows him, you know, what his wife's like would wife's life would be like and his friends' lives would be like. They're obviously not in the best of situations because the whole point is for him to realise that life is worth living and he does benefit other people. It's not the most unique concept, but I think for me it's one of the only films I've seen like this against a Christmas backdrop where somebody's contemplating the end of their life and they're shown that it is worth living. And the fact that it's against the Christmas backdrop is so beautiful. It really obviously heightens the presence of the angel character. And we just have these beautiful snowy scenes. It's a very crisp film. You can feel the chill in the air. The fact that it's cold outside really kind of heightens George's mood. That's George Bailey, played by James Stewart, who is our protagonist. It's it's a beautiful, beautiful film from start to finish. It's it's a visual delight, and I completely see why it was an absolutely incredible film film from the get go, and I can see why everybody loves it. It's a very pure film. It's very much the essence of Christmas. There isn't anything about it that isn't good. I will say it's in black and white so if you are the type of person who doesn't really care for black and white films it may put you off but I hope that you can look past that. It is an award-winning film. Frank Capra won the Best Director Award at the Golden Globes in 1947. The film won the CEC Award um, for the Best Foreign Film at the Cinema Writers Circle Awards in Spain in '49. It won something from the National Board of Review, the National Film Preservation Board, and it was nominated for, well, Capra was nominated for the New York Film Critics Circle. It's, you know, it's done a fantastic, fantastic, you know, it's done really well for itself. The cast is, is lovely, the performances are great, particularly from the younger children. They're so, you know, they're full of Christmas spirit, but they also ooze a lot of um, heartfelt emotion as well. For me, it ticks all of the right boxes. It is the ultimate relaxed and yet pivotal Christmas film. And I wish it hadn't taken me this long to see it, but I'm glad I finally have seen it. If you haven't seen It's a Wonderful Life, I thoroughly recommend you do, because it is absolutely wonderful. <laughs>